Hey everybody, it's your girl Simply Love here with Spiritual Truth Tarot. Welcome to my channel. Welcome all you newbies. So happy to see you guys and, and thank you so much for those who've been there with me from day one when I first started back in I think 2015, something like that. Okay, that's uh, how long I've been with YouTube uh, doing readings for you guys. Um, thank you all who called in for personal private readings and for those that I still have waiting um, I know there's some good things uh, coming out for you guys okay for uh, 2020 um, and we are in the retrograde remember that you all know how this thing goes we're doing um, sun moon rising and these Venus sign for uh, Libra can y'all see that card Libra Okay, Libra has that um, Venus energy, talking about I am love, you know, they all about that love, okay, I did see the romance card, so let's see, we're just going to get right into the reading, um, if you guys like to purchase any of my decks, um, I had the website, uh, what I did is I typed something, because people were saying they couldn't get reach my website, so I had typed something wrong in the description, where it wasn't bringing it up, but I, I tested it and I redone it. So on here, these videos now going forward, you can be able to just click on it. It'll take you right to my website because I did test it. If anybody have any problems, just let me know. You can schedule your readings over there if you'd like to. Look at the prices, look at the prices and everything and um, schedule and I will get notification of it. Or you could just call me or email me. That's all totally up to you. But all my desk. I think all my decks are on there. It's been a minute since to that website, so I have to check it out. But the ones I'm reading to you today, today are on my website and available there. The prices are there. All you have to do is click on it and take you to PayPal. If you'd like to join in the special, um, I, there is a few more days for that. Um, I've done a bunch of readings already back to back to back to back, okay? Um, so, um, but I'm still feeling good i mean it must be this that i'm gonna do for you guys i uh, got a bunch of uh leaves from outside because you know that it's nature okay it is what we are we're a part of it and um i use it like in place of sage and stuff like that so you know everything around us is really that we need is free you know you can get rocks instead of crystals because they you know could cost especially for the real ones um, and uh, just get rocks from outside because it is part of the universe. It is part of who we are. So I'm going to go ahead and light this. There we go. And we're going to bring on the energies for Le uh, Libra. And thank you, ancestors. Thank you, spirit guides, mother, father, earth, and ancestors. Thank you so much. Bringing the energies for the sign of Libra, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Thank you. Mm, I just love the smell of that. Oh, I love the smell of it. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so we've cleared the energy. Now Libra's ancestors are here. Remember, remember you guys, um, it's just a general reading. So don't take these reading personal. You already know the drill. You should know the drill by now. I still have to keep explaining myself. Let's get into the reading. Okay. Be honest with yourself, Libra. That's the first card that popped out. I don't know what's going on in your life right now, but it's something about um, you need to be honest with yourself and you need to be honest with people that's around you. But it's saying being on Well, if you're being honest with yourself, you, you can be honest with other people around you, okay? So somebody's wearing a mask here, masquerading how they are or how they feel. It just depends on who you are, what you're doing, what you're saying. It's all an act, a class act. So be honest with yourself is what your spirit guides are telling you. I'm just the messenger. Don't get mad at me. I'm the messenger. And once you be honest with yourself, you'll find yourself with new opportunities coming along, okay? But you have to do that inner work first, okay? Spirit is there to help you. Spirit is there to guide you, Libra. Okay. Honoring your true feelings. So you got two cards of here of being true to yourself and honoring your feelings. 
there's something about, you know, maybe lies being told or something like that. You're not being honest with yourself. You're not being honest with people around you. You're not because if you're not being honest with yourself, how can you be honest with anybody else? So there's two and, you know, either this is you, Libra, or it could be somebody around you. OK, that's the only way you're going to get new opportunities. But somebody has to be honest within them about themselves and who they really show who you really are. And then there's about, you know, um, honoring your true feelings, like do what you say you're going to do. Don't just say things and stuff like that, to, you know, and then don't follow through on it because that's the energy that I'm picking up right now. That's what I'm hearing spirit say. Spirit saying, get it together, Libras, or leave it alone. Get yourself together. Raising your standards. Okay? Raising your standards. Know who you are. Be honest with yourself because there's new opportunities here for you. But you got to be true to yourself. You got to be true to others. And you got to be true to your feelings. I feel like, you know, you need to, there's some transformation that needs to happen here for some of you Libras out there or someone around you. It could be your partner. It, this could be a family situation because like I said, I'm just freestyling here. Love, home, home whatever is going on in this situation that resonates with you. So this will cause you to raise your standards, you know, think more of yourself and you'll get more out of life than what you've been settling for or somebody has been settling for you or haven't been settling for you because of these reasons. Okay, so there you go with that. Okay, let's see what else spirit. What other messages you have for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the messages. Now, don't go going off doing nothing drastic because of these messages unless you get a personal private reading. That way, you, uh, the reader's in tune to your energies and your energies only. These re these energies here are worldwide, and they're, they, uh, they're very fluent. So it can happen at any time. I see you got a number 22 here, yin and the yang. You may be married or in a relationship with someone. It could be a soulmate, twin flame, something like that. I, I'm trying to avoid from using those type of words, but a soul tie with somebody or or marriage. Like I said, uh, you're going to have victory in that, okay? It sees victory. It seems like there's victory with a marriage here or some type of relationship. Or you've had that or someone else is having it, having that. Yeah, this is new beginnings, eight plus two, that's 10. So that's new beginnings. This is the 1111 card, you know, soul tie. Okay. goddess of the moon things being revealed to you you can see things being t shown things um being intuitive or empathic um trust your intuition what you see is what you get it's a spiritual card okay five plus two is seven seven is a spiritual number Could be some of you need to rest too but you're all tied up something's got you all tied up here it's got something to do with a relationship that you want victory in you may be doing something you know calling in somebody with, with this relationship calling in something but something's just not something's not happening with this relationship that you want. Let me see what spirit is saying. It's like you need to see something here with the uh, goddess of the moon and they're saying they're trying to tell you through your intuition but you're just too tied up or too wrapped up into something. 
then it's because maybe you want a victory in some type of relationship, but it's just like, it's not happening. We'll see in your reading, okay? We'll see what's going on. Hmm. Okay, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Uh, let me see what your uh, spirit guides, like um, whoever, someone from your, uh, that's been passed on, a relative, uh, your angel guides, your ancestors. Let's see what they have to say, um, uh, what they need to tell you, okay? Spirit, spirit, what do you have to say? Okay, there's two cards there. Okay, someone who's crossed over that you may know, it, whether it resonates for some of you, please let me know in the comment section. It says, life is a series of choices. Choose love. See how all that comes together like you have to really go inside yourself. There's something that you're denying or about yourself. It could be some type of low, low self-esteem. It's just for some of you, not all of you. It could be your partner as well. Remember, these things could go vice versa. Now, your are uh, Someone who's crossed over said, I am just a thought away. So speak to your spirit God, speak to your ancestors, speak to someone that you know that was close to you. They're alive. They, they, you just can't see their bodies. That's all because they're not of this youth. You, they're in a, they're in a, uh, a spiritual realm now where they can see everything. So those are the ones you need to call on for help because they're willing to help. They are there. They hear you. They see you. Okay, just call on them. That's all you have to do. Let's see what's going on with this message that we just heard. As far as your other reading here, let's see. Coffee cup. Okay, you got coffee cup. You got hand of cards. Wow, you got a lot of things. You got separation. I didn't mean to put that, but they all fell out talking. So maybe you need to hear these coughing. And the dragonfly. Okay, let's start from the coffee cup. The coffee cup says um, meeting and conversating, savoring the, savoring the moment or savoring the moment, feeling uplifted friendship. So there's some kind of talking going on, some kind of communication. And then you got the hand of cards. The hand of cards is take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, showing your hand, and gambling. Okay, so this is telling me that you or someone around you has options, okay? You are, like, taking chances. I don't, I, I'm not feeling too good about this hand of cards because it's like you're get, you're like going around taking chances like and hoping for you know just doing things or doing whatever. I'm not saying you could be your partner too. It could be somebody could this could go vice versa, but you're taking too many chances, too many risks here. You could be somebody could be an actual gambler. Somebody could be a player, okay? This is about playing, you know, playing cards, playing you know, because it's got options and it's got being strategic. So somebody's playing around here. Uh, Libra, I don't know if you're doing this or someone around you is just playing around and taking chances and, 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 and hoping things would let, hoping things fall, whatever. And there's a lot of gossip, a lot of talking going on, okay? Or trying to get some talking going on separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. That's because, you know, you're, you or someone else here is like taking too many chances. You got too many options out there and you're gambling with your, you're playing around with your life and someone else's life or some other people. I feel like it's more than just one person that you're doing this or somebody's doing to you. It's several people here, and that's what causes this separation. Either you doing this because you got so many people around that you're playing around with, you know, that uh, <laughs> it causes someone to separate from you, or you just like just going to just go go off. Now the dragonfly says, "Be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal." 
So some, you know, it, someone may separate yourself from you because of you, you know, because of some running around or some, some, you know, some seeing other people, having a lot, being around a lot of people, partying, gambling, actually gambling, taking too many chances and risks that can get you, you know, have, cause you to have health issues. And when it comes to a relationship, gossiping, running around, telling everything or starting something. All right. So the dragonfly is actually saying, chill out. Somebody needs to chill out because they got the cough in here as well. So, and then we had it earlier, something about, you know, well, no, that wasn't you. I'm sorry. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. So there's an ending here for you, Libras. Okay. Definitely. The separation happened first and then, it, then there's an ending because somebody's just not getting it. Somebody's okay. Talking again is some gossip. There's talking and stuff going on. <sighs> Interesting and talking more so that you want to talk. There's, there's an ending here, but you, there's some sort of denial about this ending, awaiting a message of, uh, to arrive, text, call, email, and hovering. So you, somebody's being extra here. This, like I said, I don't know when, what the time stamp is on all of this, but somebody's somebody's overbearing here after uh, somebody called it quits or wanting to end something but somebody just like is just keeps they're very determined whether it's you Libra or not sometimes it's best to let stuff go let it go let it ride let's see what your love reading says or what the messages say for Libra Sun Moon Rising and Venus and um, these are my 1960 cards that somebody sent to me. Thank you. You know who you are. You know, I really appreciate it. I really connect with these because I was born in the 70s, 60s. Sorry. I was born in the 70s. So these will be read upright. Okay. Okay. Spirit, what is the energy around Libra? What is the messages that you want them to know? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What are the messages? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. There you go already. You got the... Seven of, mm, seven of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. So, I hope this is not too loud. Because it's some uplifting music. I love to listen to music while I'm doing these readings, okay? It inspires me. So with the seven of uh, wands here, uh, you could be dealing with the Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, or you have it in your chart, or they, your partner may. I feel like, you know, somebody's putting their guards up uh, from you or you from someone. You're, you're blocking them or trying to, somebody's trying to, like, um, stand their ground here, okay? They're standing their ground and they're fighting back, like, Hey, you, get off my mountain. Somebody keeps trying to come in because look at all, and somebody's fighting like to, no, no, I don't want you around. I don't want you coming around. I don't want to talk to you. I don't have nothing to say. With the seven of wands here, somebody's protecting their self from you or you from someone. There it is again. Somebody hold, but you're holding on or somebody else is holding on tightly somebody could be holding on to their finances you may be coming in and they may be knowing that you just want money or you or somebody's doing this to you libra somebody's being a miser with their finances like because that's the miser card or it's just somebody holding on tightly to their money their finances to to anything they're not giving anything they're, you know what I'm saying? They're not giving anything. You're not giving anything or they not or you're holding, you know, fighting somebody off from coming in or blocking them from coming in and they're not giving up anything. They're moving forward with the chariot. This could be you or someone else. So I'm seeing a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I'm also seeing Aries, Sagittarius, Leo with this chariot is Cancer. So some of you could be talking to a Cancer, but they're moving on. 
they're they're they've gotten theirself together with the chariot and they're just like full speed ahead, okay? Moving forward. Let's see if I hear anything else. Maybe it's time for somebody to just, you know, call tr stop trying so hard. We got the high priest is something secret. This could have been about a secret lover or a partner, or it's just somebody using their intuition regarding a situation. Maybe you're using your intuition regarding this person that may be trying to come in your life and you're blocking them and holding on to your finances or being a miser, being like, you know, or, or somebody's, do, you know, it's vice versa, you guys. But being as this is your reading, the main focus is going to be you guys. So somebody could be, you know, dealing with a, uh, a, a Scorpio. This also talks about, you know, some secrets may have came out or some knowledge about something coming out. And here's the uh, Ace of Wands, uh, Ace of Swords. Like some, some, yeah, something came out. Some truth and clarity came out. Somebody found out some truth, and now, or somebody just like put their foot down about something. Okay, it could be about a, a relationship or a secret lover, and they put their foot down, and they got victory, or you got victory. You put your foot down regarding a situation. Okay. That's your energy, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. So you could have got some type of clarity, some kind of type of epiphany regarding something. Or you just may be trying to uh, win victory uh, uh, in something, in a relationship. It could be something going on at the home, uh, at work, if you're working. There's just, like I said, this is a freestyle reading, but... It, and it is about you, Libra. So don't get mad at me. I'm just, I'm just delivering the messages. That's all I'm doing. And like I said, you know, energies do go vice versa. Somebody wants to move on. Somebody wants to move forward. Definitely. You need to balance yourself, or there's some type of. Uh, Somebody needs to balance their emotions emotionally. It needs to be somebody's tempered their self is what it is. That's what it is. Somebody's done tempered their self in there. Um, I feel like this, being this is the Mercury retrograde, I feel like this is a comeback. Somebody's trying to come back to you or you're trying to come back to someone and it's being, they're like, you thought something maybe was going to happen, but suddenly they just like, out of the blue, just like, uh, no, I'm moving forward. And it's got somebody, uh, yeah, the lovers, it has somebody had to make a choice. Somebody made a choice. They balanced their self out. Maybe you, you know, had to balance your emotions and then make some kind of choice. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Gemini. See, because the reason why I say that is because in this card, in this deck, this is the deck from the 60s, my 60s deck. <laughs> Somebody made these in the 60s. But anyway, yeah, it could have been a sexual relationship going on here, but somebody balanced herself out like, you know, I got to pull myself together here with this situation because there was some clarity here. It might have been about a secret because the high priest could be a secret lover. Somebody decided to like... um Got, had some kind of epiphany. You may have had an epiphany um, because see, uh, she's carrying the moon, okay, on her in her hand, or she's reflecting the moon, which is you know uh, secrets, okay, unsurety. Um, probably, and the sun is above both of you guys though, and he's carrying the sun, which means the light, the truth, revealing something. So I feel like you know. There had to be a choice here because somebody was keeping secrets again in this partnership or whatever ship it was. Somebody was keeping secrets and somebody had to make a choice, either you or someone else. Gemini energy. Okay, yeah. Somebody put an ending to something, chopping all that dirty stuff out because someone found out about a secret or somebody wasn't being honest. 
we you know we seen in the other deck there which was called the um the well island time wellness cards that's what they're called the little black cards so there's an ending here um, for new beginnings, there's a transformation going on with someone after getting this knowledge or epiphany. With, it could be you or someone else. Put an ending to it because you found out it was a burden. Okay? Too burdensome. Too much. Either you or someone else felt that way. Um, I feel like you've been through the mill with this person or this person been through the mill with you and they can't take it no more. See the wounded soldier? It's like, damn, they got all beat up in this relationship or you got all beat up in this relationship. Okay, let me go, go ahead and clarify this for y'all. Hold on. Okay, Spirit, uh, what do you see for with the... Um, keep getting messages, y'all, up in there from YouTube. Sorry. I got to find out how to turn that thing off because <laughs> uh, I could read them on my phone. Okay, we got the King of, of Wands or the Queen of Wands. Remember, there's no gender when it comes to these people. Could be dealing with somebody younger than you or this is you. See, they got that line behind them. They ain't thinking about they on fire. This, this King of Wands um, is very aggressive, okay? They, they like the, they, they sort of have some kind of um, ego about their self too. At times, they could be very egotistic, and it's all about. It could be all about them. This is what I'm picking up for this reading, anyway. Okay, and um, you could have fire in your chart. It could be someone you're dealing with that has fire in their chart. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, but somebody's fighting something off. Still, same energy. Somebody's blocking somebody off from coming in, and this could be the person. Okay, let's get with the Four of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Energy. Why is somebody holding back or holding on? What are they holding on for? What are, or why are they holding back on finances? Why is somebody being a miser? <laughs> okay, we got two cards that came out here. Let's see here. The Tower. Because somebody put an ending to something. Something came to an end. Uh, it, it happened very quickly. This is this is like a wake up call. This is like, and it's with this high priestess who is a Libra or a Taurus. There was an ending. Either a Libra or Taurus put this to an end, which is you guys, or someone else did with the tower. It could be a, a Leo, okay, or a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. It's just this thing just. It just wasn't working, and, and there was just a tower moment, okay? Someone wasn't being honest here. I'm telling you right now, somebody wasn't being honest. Somebody was, like, all effed up. Okay, now let's get with the chariot, see what the chariot has to say. But even with the tower moment, that's like a sudden shocking event, like a... a Something just came out of the blue, all right, shocking, and it caused uh, disruption, upheaval, and it caused a separation. The chariot, see, because somebody left, and they ain't even looking back. The moon, secrets, secrets, things that are hidden probably were revealed. Another lover, you know, somebody found out about a, another, there was somebody else involved. So we've got three people here so far. <laughs> so the moon is over the chariot. Somebody found something out and, you know, just suddenly took off. Suddenly took off after the reveal. They just like, uh, <laughs> can't do this. Mm -mm. Okay, either you or someone else. Like I said, the energies go vice versa. Okay, let's get with the high priestess. Let's see something here. If y'all can see the cards. Eight of cups. Somebody walking away. Somebody's walked away from you or you walked away from this um, secret lover. 
situation. It's here twice. Chariot. Somebody moving along, moving. Either you've done this to someone or someone done this to you because of some secrets that came out. There was something hidden here. Okay? And, and it was explosive. It happened very quickly. This is your energy. Maybe you was doing something or somebody around you was doing something you found out about it. So you kind of like put it to a halt real quick and got out of Dodge. Okay? Like, I'm out of Dodge now. Or you just, somebody started something on purpose or something like that. I'm hearing two spirits saying, but it didn't go in somebody's favor though. Whatever somebody tried to start, it didn't go in their favor because spirit was watching. This is revealing time now. Nobody's going to get away with anything. Nobody. With these eclipses and full moons and all this stuff. We we're in Mercury retrograde now. People can't. It's not get. There, there, it's the fifth dimension. Things are already in alignment for people to come together in truth and and trust and and true and real and being real. That's what this is about, being real. Somebody getting an epiphany, somebody uh, getting the truth and clarity and winning over that truth and clarity. Now, to, to uh, confirm this, Ace of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, this year energy is the Two of Pentacles. Somebody been juggling, you know, going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, okay? Somebody might have been going back and forth, getting money here and there. Because pentacles are about money. It could have been with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Your energy. It was just juggling back and forth. Somebody's not, didn't just, don't know which way they wanted to go. Okay, Capricorn, I'm back. I don't know what happened. Remember, we're in the Mercury retrograde. It's going to mess with a lot of stuff. Especially electronics and stuff like that. So here you go. Either this is going to be part two, uh, finishing up, or I'll try to combine it together, which I hate to go through all that stuff, but I may have to just go ahead and do that, combine them together instead of making part one and two. It just may be a part two, you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> this just is time consuming to do the, all the editing. Okay, so we were at. You know, somebody juggling, you know, going back and forth, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. There was some clarity about this situation. Somebody having two people or juggling two people around. The temperance is somebody, you know, actually pulling their self together and saying uh, they want the Queen of Cups. Okay. They had to balance their emotions and balance whatever was going on with them, their feelings. There was somebody that uh, kind of like, because the Queen... King or Queen of Cups is very loving, very caring, um, and in love, okay? This person probably discovered that who they truly loved, that's what I'm hearing. So they had to get uh, get their self in balance for this love. Some, some realization happened, okay? Because it's right up underneath the tower card. So some realization took place here. Yeah, my mouse was right here, so I, and I was shuffling, so it might have been I touched my mouse and it closed this out. It closed it out. So yeah, with the lovers card here, third party situation. See, we we mentioned that already. Either you or someone else is in a third third party. It's like somebody put it to an end though. Some juggling going on. Somebody walked away from the situation after it was revealed itself. So with the death card, we had the magician. So this is a big, big transformation. Now somebody transformed their life, put an ending to some things. You see they got that sword there, right? Uh, leaving people, places, and things behind that no longer serve them. Somebody ended this third-party situation, and now they're manifesting something uh, that they want, okay? Because so this is the manifester, the magician. It could be a Virgo or a uh, Gemini. Okay, this ten of pen, uh, ten of um, wands, which is burdens. Landed it right on both cards for the last two ended on. So I'm gonna go with the first one that fell down. For the ten is the um, the five of swords. Yeah, somebody wanted to win at all costs. Somebody was like a bit narcissistic in the, in this situation. Somebody had other people, but um, uh, other people. Uh, this person is like 
they like the wheat win. There's something narcissistic about them. And I think that came up in y'all, uh, these other reasons. Somebody's very narcissistic, somebody very selfish. Uh, somebody not willing to take care of their bird is looking for someone else to uh, to handle whatever they, they need to do, whether it's you or someone. This is your energy, though, okay? Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Somebody wanted to win at all costs, okay? And no matter what they done, whether they hurt somebody, somebody playing dirty here, all right? Somebody playing dirty. Somebody could have want somebody to take their responsibilities and somebody was like no i don't think so because i could see the dirt um this person was you know very hurt in the past by you or you by them went to some battles for seriously some serious battles i mean look at they wearing a band-aid around their head and there's blood coming out of it so this was some serious pain in this situation here whether it happened again, I just don't understand that this happened before, and I feel like this is a, another go around or something. And it's the same thing. What? Why would somebody want to put themselves in a situation like this where there's a bunch of competition? You know, verifying. That's why somebody's hurt right here. They battling. It could be some physical stuff going on here. This is really strange, Libra. Very strange reading here that I'm picking up, and the energy I'm feeling is. Ooh, you know, a lot of battles, a lot of competition, a lot of internal conflict. Look at this. Somebody wanting to win, you know, at all, they don't care. They just, all they care about is themselves. This is a selfish, narcissistic person here. And I'm just telling it like what Spirit's telling me, period. This has just been a hot mess, okay, for some of you. Get mad all you want. I don't care. This is what spirit is saying. I know what I'm seeing here. And I know what my energy is feeling like in this reading. This was like back and forth, back and forth. Like this, this is a continuing cycle or something, but it's a final one. This one, whatever it is, it's a final ending because there's too many ending cards here. Too many of them. So, but somebody keeps pursuing some something. Somebody's holding on and pursuing and pursuing and pursuing, but somebody needs to learn to love their self. They're trying to find love or throw their responsibility on something that um, you or the other person need to be taking responsibility for, okay? That's what I'm hearing for you, Libra. Okay, let's see what my deck says here. Love and romance, Oracle. Ask the question. Ask the question. Romance. Love and Romance, Oracle, they're on my website as well if you'd like to pick these up, okay? Like I said, I'll fix the link so you can just click on it and you can go right there. I tested it. It should be working from these uh, from this month on. <laughs> I'm not going to go back and cl correct all of the videos. I got over a thousand videos and I can't do that. I can't, I don't think, oh, I can't do that. Sorry, Charlie. Sorry, Charlie. Okay, bye. Four, three, two, one. Okay, see here. Mm, divine timing, love is worth the wait. Things, all things happen in divine timing, okay? Okay, yeah. Positive. Positive thinking brings a, brings on love, okay? Romance will come if you think positive. See? You got some work to do. Uh, you got some work to do, Libra, with yourself. Triangle, see? Love triangle. You got some work to do. We don't want to be involved in triangles. For what? For what? Somebody found out maybe pregnant or... Uh, some maybe that's what this was all about. Maybe somebody tried to blame a pregnancy on somebody to get someone back. Somebody pregnant, but they may be a single mother or just a, a baby mama. Okay, something like that. But there was third parties involved. You need to trust yourself. Or some, you know, or somebody may have trusted themselves and you know moved on, thought more positive regarding a love relationship. 
Okay, now I'm going to give you my iMessages. You can find these on my website as well. And you can see here, you know, they're all on a message, like you're getting a message on a phone. This is a picture of a phone, iPhone. Trust the process. I don't know why that wanted to come out or just looking at the bottom card. So, Spirit, what other messages? I, I, I just, this energy is just like weird to me. I mean, I, you know, I wish you all the best. If this happened to you, like, it's time to, like, breathe. It's time to um, come to terms with yourself. As it said in the beginning, you can always go back and view the video. There's somebody needs to come to terms with their self and take the mask off. Somebody's masquerading, playing games, um, thinking life is a joke. I don't know if that's you. It could be some of you Libras, but it could be the person you're talking to or persons because I'm seeing more than one. Okay. You can get some help if you need help. Ignore me all you want. You just lost someone who loved you. And I lost someone who's not worth my time at all. Oh, my gosh. This is the first time this one popped up. So, Libra, that is your uh, I message there, okay? Ignore me all you want, this person is saying, or you're saying this to this person. You just lost someone who loved you, okay? And I lost someone who's not worth my time at all. That's cold. That's cold message right there. Ooh, straight to the point. Chase that. Chase that one. So I wish you all the best, uh, Libra. And um, if you guys need a... Leave your comments down below because I'm picking people for free readings and stuff like that. If you leave a comment, you subscribe and all that type of good stuff. Um... And I had this special going on until the end of the month. I may extend it. It just depends on what my spirit guides tell me or the load that I'm going to have because I've been having one after another, after another, after another, after another with the special. Um, and I already told you what that was. I think it was $10 for 15 minutes and $25 for 30 minutes, okay? And and I prefer cash app first, uh, uh, dollar sign, I am simply love. If you can't do cash app, just, you know, let me know and we can go, you can go ahead and go on PayPal and make your payment okay so with that being said you know have a good one make sure you get yourself a personal private reading because these are all general that's why i say don't take all this seriously like it's like you know if it's resonating with you then it's resonating with you if it's not it's not you know if it's not your story don't worry about it because like i said we're reading for thousands and thousands of people and don't get mad at the messenger for the truth you have to talk to your spirit guides about that situation okay so there you go you guys have a great one and i'll see you mid-month Take care now. Bye. <laughs>